Hello and welcome to another video from Interview Software. Today I have another speed challenge video. I'm going to create some underbed storage with a lift up flap and roller casters and then push this into production. This is a frequently asked for type of product and it's a lot easier to make than you first think. So let's go to the article designer, specify height, width and depth. I'm then going to add in a top. In this case, the top is going to be just an edged all the way around inset top. A bottom, and for the bottom, I've got this as an inset bottom with a caster that's been swapped out for the plastic legs. Left and right panel. Front panel needs to be changed to be an adder panel. And that is going to be trimmed long to the bottom shelf. And I want a piece of hardware that's going to connect it to the bottom and to the left and to the right. I also need a back panel. And again, I've altered the standard back panels. In this case, I have edging top and bottom. And I have hinges connecting to the top. I want to change the trim on this also so that it is long to the bottom and then long to the top. So my top is half inset and half onset. I'll go to the tolerances and say that this should be inset. And you can see in here, I can move that in and out. I'll say that that should be a two mil gap, left, right and back. And then I'll save the work. Let's call this bed storage. Let's click save and tick. Okay, so there's a couple of things that we need to change in here. You'll notice that I have my um, hinges the wrong way around and there's no way of easily getting into this so what I want to do is I'll change the hinge position and then add in a finger pull. So the first thing is to select the part, in this case the top, and change that from being a top shelf to being a door. That's then going to change my hinges. I can then go to the leading edge and change that the, from being a straight edge to having a finger pull. And I'll also do that detail on the leading edge of that front panel. There we go. I also want to select the hinge And in this case, add in some extra hinges for strength. So in this case, I'm going to go to the connection situation and say that this should be 50 millimeters to one to one to 50 millimeters. That's going to add in that extra hinge for me. Adding the hinges, changing them, and then adding in this opening here is all classed as modifications to that standard data. So what we need to do is record these modifications now. So if we go back to the world, you'll see that there's a spanner linked to the part, uh, linked to the article. So if I select that and go to the modifier stack, you can see all of the modifications that have been done to this product. I can then use the save disk to record these modifications so that the next time I bring these in, they will be recorded and applied automatically. Let's do that now. If we go to the article center, you can see I've got bed storage here and I can then bring it in and I've got my same product with those modifications. Let's go to the materials and specify in this case that the material should change. So we'll go to the article related variables and then in here under getting started basic data case, we can then say that I want this to be gray oak and for the connectors let's set this as dial cam
and click apply. Let's save the job and put it into production. We'll call this bed storage. And save. Now all we need to do is select the two products and I'll run it down my IX cam nesting BSC machine and we'll create a nested pattern. So here's the results with the materials that's used and here's all of the individual files. Thanks for watching.